So it seems that Wiley is getting to a Twitter spat with Drake and it does not look good. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Before we get into this video, hopefully you guys are enjoying your weekend. Click that button and subscribe to my channel and definitely follow me on Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. I would massively appreciate it. Now, it seems like Wiley is a bit pissed off and a bit annoyed. He is obviously irritated at Drake. And we're just going to get straight into it and where he goes on and he says... Um, paganism is at the highest level. I knew someone was going to crack, I just knew it. Never crack under pressure. I'd rather have a thousand enemies than a thousand fake group chat pagan friends. Assassination, vacation, what a punk. I know we are in a lyrical war skeptical, but big up, big up yourself for not cracking. Have I got myself into war with Drake? Lol, amazing. At Drake, if what I was saying was wrong, you would have stayed silent. Cover up the BBK tattoo. Cover up the BBK tattoo. Some people help you generally and some people do it for the headline and the coolness and the street cred PR stunts. Um, if I do a song tomorrow and I sound like Jay Huss, what am I? When you see comments like Drake has done more for UK music than Wiley, let's pretend he didn't help start grime. It's true, like he did help, Wiley has helped a lot. Um, they just love him more, I get it, but the truth is the truth. Now, you know, some people are saying that some people are very torn over this issue because at one point what should not be discredited is the amount of impact that Wiley has done for the music grime scene most definitely. That should not be shoved away regardless of how erratic one may act, childish one may act, immature one acts. Their work stands for something and the impact is most definitely there. But a lot of people are saying that Drake needs, obviously he's doing this for UK clout, but does some people now, some people are also saying does he even need a UK club? Because he's already massive anyways. He doesn't actually need that. And then some people are saying he bought all these artists out because they're cheap artists in terms of the fact that they're not massive. They're not cheap in terms of their work, but they're cheap in terms of cost as opposed to getting people like Meek Mill and so forth and whatever, whatever. So maybe he was just doing that and the UK kind of credibility kind of helped which just came with it. Or he was doing that out of his own love. We don't really know some of these intentions, but what we can do is obviously discuss what we're seeing. And what we are seeing, it looks like Wiley is very, very pissed. Are you on his side or not? If you're watching this video, let me know what you guys think. Do comment down below. Are you Team Wiley, Team Drake? Do you feel like we should not discredit Wiley's work and the impact that he's done for the music scene? Do you feel like Drake is doing this for UK clout? I kind of doubt that, but you know, Wiley does look like he is very pissed and upset and irritated by the situation. Is he acting immature and childish, Wiley? Or do you feel like he is justified in what he is saying? There are so many different questions and different perspectives and direct pathways we can take when it comes to this complex, conversation most definitely do let me know what you guys think comment down below i read all your comments this fact looks like it's going to get worse and worse and it's not less it doesn't look like it's gonna get better anytime soon hopefully you guys enjoyed this my small little video on this particular situation and i'm keen to know what you guys think thank you guys for watching and i'll most definitely catch you guys soon be sure to subscribe to my channel subscribe 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 click that video click that button for consistent content follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys for the next video